in the heart of Africa, the horrors of the past are back to haunt the present. You see it in the eyes of a little boy named Mabaya. His belly is swollen by starvation, his lungs congested by TB. Three years old and he barely troubles the scales. You see the same fear in a young girl, too weak to stand on her own. Her grandmother walked 80 miles to this hospital. Every day brings more tiny children to this UNICEF center. Child is on risk of dying. This girl is at risk of dying. Yeah. Some just in time, others too late. So the tears fall and the evil that makes them flow is man-made. Akito grieves for his murdered mother. He alone now cares for his sister, and she is little more than skin and bone. Months on the run have taken a terrible toll, and there are thousands like her. What they tell us as well is that they had to walk for months, they had to live in the bush, they had to sleep under a tree, their children had nothing to eat. Fifteen years since the war that consumed hundreds of thousands of lives, are they sliding back into the abyss? Here, a tribal rising against government forces has seen atrocities on both sides. Villages destroyed, schools demolished, boys and girls fending for themselves, mothers and fathers mutilated. That's the disturbing lesson in brutality, the teacher tells me. They cut the people's throats, he says. The same cruelty made orphans of three sisters. Ethnic hatred means their lives are still in danger. The oldest recounts their horror with the detachment of the traumatized. After this happened to you, how, how could you carry on? This is a rich and fertile land, and yet so many of its people are facing starvation because they have been driven from their homes by a relentless war in the countryside. What's more, this crisis has unfolded almost unnoticed by the world outside. In the Congo, they're dying of neglect. And the world neglects at its peril a country that can turn the innocents into killers. Victor, just 10, was recruited by the militia and the pull of powerful superstition. <laughs> Francois shows us how he went into battle. He believes magic turned a stick into a gun. Are you sorry now for, for what happened then? Mbombo is a mother who starved herself to feed her children. This is their first meal in weeks. Amid the violence, there are many hungry mouths and not nearly enough to go round. John Ray, ITV News, Kasai.